Welcome. Hope you've been enjoying our videos. I think Disney's Hercules put it best. People always do crazy things when they're in love. But they didn't say anything about the crazy things we can do to figure out if someone likes us back. Well, we're in luck because there's a couple here. Come on out. Don't be shy. Meet Noah and Kay. They want to share their story. Before couplehood, they had feelings for each other, but they were unsure if the feeling was mutual. These two are just like you. Like attracts like, and they did the same things many of you would do. So Noah, Kay, don't worry, I'm here for support. Wind back the clock and show us how it happened. Here, why don't I introduce the first sign to get you started? Number one, they talk to you all the time. Kay and Noah meet at work, where they're placed on the same team and also sat right next to each other. Okay, not a Hollywood flick. They weren't a couple within one hour and 54 minutes, but they do get along and continue to talk at work about normal things like meeting times or emails. A little after that, they exchanged numbers and began texting before and after work. It soon got to the point where they were constantly in contact, even on the weekends. Okay, pause the story for a sec. Does this remind you of anyone? Eagerly talking to each other from the moment you wake up until the moment you fall asleep? Part of you knows you're chatting with them way more than anyone else. Could it be something more? But it could still be a new friend thing, just like what Noah and Kay think. Let's take a cue from the chain smokers. No, 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 put that lighter away. We don't mean that kind of... Never mind, as I was saying. Number two, just like the chain smokers, the EDM duo, they wanna be closer. Noah and Kay are always together. When they're hanging out off the clock, they like to watch anime and action movies. Martial arts flicks are their favorite. Whenever they're watching something, Noah and Kay are always sitting close, never touching, but they're never more than a foot away from each other. At work, they respect each other's personal space, but they will sit next to each other in meetings and take their breaks together. Pause. Noah and Kay are non-verbally communicating through body language. Inviting body language signs are things like frequent physical closeness and open body positions, so no closed arms or legs and no distancing behaviors. Now back to the story. Number three, they seem to be strangely just right all the time. Noah and Kay like to take a bit of a walk together after a cooped up day at work. One hot and sunny day, Kay noticed, dun dun dun, she's sweating. Normally she doesn't care, but now with Noah right there, really? Nope, not happening. So when the sweat feels close to gross, she wipes it away, but only when Noah isn't looking. She occasionally creates the distraction herself, like pointing out a fictional eagle over there. When Noah turns back to Kay, huh? how is it this hot out, yet Kay still looks pristine? Let's talk about it. This point isn't about general vanity, but why does Kay care so much about how she looks for Noah? The effort here is for one specific reason. Truth is, they don't really care how others view their aesthetics. They're only worried about one specific person, their crush. So next time you're hanging out with your crush, Keep an eye out for a quick hair fix, a lipstick retouch, a hidden shirt fix, or even a breath check. If you see these kinds of actions, they might have a thing for you. Number four, so many questions. Noah notices that spending time with Kay is awesome. He realizes that to keep her wanting to hang out with him, he needs to know more about her, what she likes and her interests. Assumptions aren't going to fly. So he asks questions ranging from the blunt, what's your favorite food queries to subtle, so are you seeing that new Marvel movie soon? Then watching for her reaction. And in the process, she got to know more about him without even knowing it. Essentially, we like it when we're cared for. We may not spontaneously talk about ourselves if we feel no one's listening. But if someone genuinely asks, we'll enjoy sharing and with great detail. Noah or that crush of yours can really up the like factor if they act on the information, like getting you a baby Yoda since you gushed about Star Wars. Or they can make their feelings even more obvious by adding a personal touch. Number five, they create intimacy with personal gifts. Kay realizes that Noah's birthday is coming up. A generic store-bought card feels impersonal. Maybe a dinner did, no, no, too serious. It's gotta be special, but not too much, aha. Kay remembers that one anime Noah loves, so she draws his favorite character posing with an animated version of Noah. 
She even frames and wraps it. Noah opens the gift and his jaw just about hit the floor. In fact, hey, are those tears? Yeah, she got him in the feels. K is good. Noah mentally adds up all the signs. Plus, this cherry on top gift that required significant thought and effort. He knows, he's just got to ask her out. Handmaking gifts is a great way to create a strong bond. In Noah and Kay's situation, she made something tailor-made to Noah and the purpose was solely for him to love it. Bonus, do you wanna give your crush a personal gift but you're not too good at arts and crafts or drawings? Well, another alternative is you can give them a knitted item like a nice cozy sweater or a blanket. According to a 2015 study specifically on knitted items, when the item is something held close to the body, like a sweater or blanket, this item is seen as loving or kind. When the item is something not personally used, maybe a pot holder, it's viewed as old fashioned and thrifty. And scene. Thanks for the participation, Noah and Kay. We know it was obvious to us that Noah and Kay had that attraction, but it's not so easy to see the forest when you're in amongst the trees, am I right? Have you been there? What other signs can you think of that might indicate more than friends? Anything you're wondering about? Please comment and discuss. Maybe you'll even do a meet cute here. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.